previously on Long Dark Interloper. All right, let's let's head back to the hut. Let's head back to the hut. Explained earlier about uh, temperatures. Oh fuck! No, don't crash! Oh fuck you! Really? Knowing what I now know, how would I play the game differently? This is kind of interesting. Okay. Let's see where we are. We have enough to get warm because because we we're following a different because we have the benefit of hindsight. Basically, I'm going to play the game differently now. I was going to say we're going to head to the radio control hub, but I don't know. I don't even know if that's the best strategy anymore. Let's just see how we go. This, I believe there's a wolf and possibly a bear that to live around here. So we can cover the right side. We know there's nothing there. Let's just cover a little bit of ground. Obviously I don't want this to be like my last series where we just ran into a wolf. Around a corner. That sucked. <laughs> what was that? I heard something. Being paranoid. Let's see what happens. It's looking like the coast is clear right now. Eighty three per cent. I think we can stand. It gives us a slightly better vantage point. Just very wary of seeing something. A little bit paranoid, but it's looking okay. God, the fear factor in interloper is so different, so much scarier. I'm not going to bother with those saplings. I don't think we can harvest them yet. Until we get a hacksaw or a improvise an axe. So at the moment I'm really thinking about where there's a wolf. Where to go next. I'm just kind of following the safest path I know. We're losing condition more from the cold. So there's a prepper cache. Not a prep cache, but there's a basement over there that we're now going to get to. Probably far enough away from the wolf to stand, but I'm going to make sure I really keep my distance. We cannot afford a tussle at this stage of the game. I've lost sight of him now. So I'm going to crouch. I don't want any kind of surprises. And we're going to crawl our way to the basement. While we do that, let me tell you about my next story. This one is about a guy called Gareth Wood. And in 1985, Gareth Wood and his group of polar explorers were forced to make their way across a thin layer of ice. They were terrified that the ice would crack under their feet. Instead, the ice erupted and a massive leopard seal came crashing through. The animal closed its jaws around Gareth's right leg and tried to drag him underwater. Gareth's companions started kicking the seal in the eyeball with their spiked boots. Eventually the seal released its grip and dove back under the ice. But the second I can hear something. But the second Gareth got up, the seal jumped out and attacked again. Let's get inside. When Gareth finally got away, he had to hobble his way back to the hut using his ice axe as a cane. There he got medical help, and he survived. Okay, let's just get some calories inside us to stop us losing any more condition. I have a very dry mouth, but I'm just going to avoid that. I'm not going to bother with that for the moment. Let's see what we've got in here. More wood. We've got actually quite a lot now. And our bag is nearly at capacity. We're at 26 kilos. We have six cedars, two firewoods, ton of sticks, loads of 
Loads of stuff. Okay, shooting guide. That's completely fucking useless. I love dog food. I always love dog food. It's sloppy. And has calories in it. Come on, give us something cool. Decent wool socks. I think we can... Can we layer up? Yes. Excellent. Okay, cool. We don't have anything else to eat. Oh, shit. We've only got hypothermia to the head. Ugh, 60%. Holy shit. Alright, we're staying down here for a while. We've got eight hours of daylight left. More socks. We'll check out their condition in a second and then break down the ones we don't need. Let's just check if there's anything else. I really... A hat would be nice. I think I can use this. But I'll take this. I'll take anything. Alright. Uh, let's see what we're wearing. So we have some more worn sport socks. Let's, uh, let's see if we can just break these down from here, can we? Yep. So obviously we can't sleep down here, we don't have a bedroll. But we need to spend some time down here, so actually sorting our clothes out is perfect. So I'm going to wear my better quality socks here. And we have a thin wool sweater. So we have a decent hoodie and a thin wool sweater. I'll take off the hoodie. The, do we want the sweater on the inside? Would you wear a wool sweater on the inside? Well, our guy is ripped as fuck. Is this Raph? Raph, is this how you see yourself, mate? Now, if I was this dude, I would not wear a wool sweater on the inside because I am allergic to wool. So I'd actually wear it, the hoodie on the inside and I'd wear the sweater on top, which makes the hoodie disappear. I wonder what happens. Other way around. It's going to show the hoodie, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of got the the wool thing underneath. I guess that's why the way we're supposed to be wearing it. And we get the ski jacket on top. That's a decent amount of outer clothing. We've got thermal undies and jeans. It's really the hat that's the problem. The running shoes are decent. But yeah. Frostbite risk of 60% in the head. Cover up the afflicted area or find someplace warm before frostbite develops. So I'm not going to go out again until that frostbite risk passes. So, let's get some more calories inside us. Let's. I love dog food. This should give us a decent amount of calories. We lost 26% when we smashed the can. Let's just get our calorie level up. Um, and then I guess I'll break down these crates. That'll keep us in a warm environment. Long enough. What we're really going to need to do is find some proper shelter. We can't start a fire in here. And I don't want to head outside to start a fire. So I think we just stick in here. If we have to drink our drink, so be it. And it looks like we do. So we just drink that. And let's have a look. So we've still got 60% frostbite risk in the head. So that's not gone down at all. Interesting. Okay, so that means there is no benefit to staying here. Let's go. We've got to find an actual shelter and a hat. So I'm going to crouch before I leave the basement. Let's see what happens. Looks like there's a storm coming in. So from what I'm guessing, the frostbite risk to the head is going to keep going up until we find uh, either a hat or a building where the inside temperature is higher than zero. So what I think is happening... Fuck, there's a storm coming in. I really don't want to be outside 
like this with a storm. The fuck was that? 64% fuck, so this is going up quite fast. Ah, fuck. I want to head back in the basement, but I know if we head back in the basement, we... Oh, shit, we're just going to have to take it. Because we can't sleep, there's no bed, so we can't pass time. So we go back into the basement, and we'd have to just pass out this storm in real time. In other words, long story short, we can't stay here. We have to go. We have to find shelter, and we have to try and beat the storm. So that there was just uh, our character saying that he's carrying more than 30 kilos. Our characters in the long dark don't like carrying more than 30 kilos. Ah, I know where we're going. There's a little, um, it's like a shack at the bottom of this climb. Can't feel my hands. And I think it's reasonably safe and it has a bed so we can hold up there. The only thing we're going to struggle with is water. But so be it. So be it. This stage of the game, I think you just have to take it as it comes. There's a corpse over there, which is interesting. There's a shit ton of wood. Tempted by that. So maybe if the weather is better, we can climb back up here. I'd really love to get some guts early on in the game. Everything depends on guts at this stage. So, mm, if the weather's good, I reckon climb back up would be wise. Okay, let's just get to this hut. I'm not going to bother collecting anything. And I'm happy to run. Pretty sure it's safe here, but I just want to get out of this cold. And we have tons of fuel, so let's just go. Stop the damage. Whoa, and we're in. Okay. So it's 2 degrees in here. We're at 77% frostbite risk to the head, but we haven't actually got it yet. So we've avoided catastrophe. I reckon we go for a quick sleep. and see if that helps the uh, condition to our head improve. There's really nothing in here. There's some wood I can break down, but that's it. Let's sleep an hour because I want to see what happens to the frostbite risk to our head and then save the game. Let's have a look. There's a storm, just as I thought. So the storm's coming. Let's have a look. So that's gone down 5%. So I think I was right. It looks like because this building is warm enough, the frostbite risk to our head uh, actually decreases. Now the biggest problem we're going to face right now is thirst, actually. Because there's a storm, we can't afford to go outside. Yeah, we're going to actually lose condition from being too thirsty. We can't go outside and make a fire. There's nothing we can break down in here. It's just going to have to sleep the storm out and suffer the the loss from thirst, actually. I hope it's not too fast. Let's, let's just see. We're at 72%. I guess we passed the time. I'll just wait until this storm passes. still not. So it's not going down too quickly. 69%, 67, 66, 65. Okay. Eight hours of darkness left and the storm has passed. Let's see what it's like outside. So I'm now learning to crouch before I leave. Let's see what we've got. 
trees. It's looking okay. It's looking okay. Minus 18, so I'm going to start a fire right here. Right next to us, I'll use our book. Let's just get this thing started. We must get water inside us. Let's, again, it's all about stopping the condition loss at this point. This is an essential fire we have to have. Once we've done this though, I think we have enough calories so we can have a good night's sleep, get our condition up, and then we see what the weather's like. And uh, we climb back up, we'll harvest that carcass, we'll build a fire next to it, we'll harvest the carcass, we'll cook the meat, take the guts. We also get to lose a bit of weight here, which is great. It's going to help with the climb. Now, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to cut these. So I'm not going to be doing it like before where I kind of knew which episode was which. I'm just going to kind of edit. And I really liked what the other YouTuber, Jeltas, did with... Um, let's get some calories as well. What he did with leaving cliffhangers. So I'm going to try and edit in some cliffhangers where I can. Alright, I think it should be enough. I'm going to do a good chunk of water here. And then we can get good sleep. We always use our purifying pills first because it's more efficient. So we save fuel basically. And then we're going to need to boil the rest. But that should see us through. We've got quite a lot of fire left. And my interloper instincts are telling me to use all the fire you have, make the best use of fuel you can. So let's boil up some more water. I'm not too bothered about sleeping through half of the daytime, because we're going to go for that big sleep. I guess we can cook up a... This is a good idea. Cook up some painkillers, they are... If you don't have them, you're going to need them. Probably, so let's just collect these two. So we're just taking advantage of our, of our immediate surroundings and the, the opportunities that are presenting themselves. That's the basic reason for doing this right now. I'm trying not to burn myself. But um, those rose hips are actually pretty important early in the game, and we have a fire cooking anyway, so it's a nose brainer. Uh, no, a nose brainer. A no brainer. Let's cook them up. So we're getting pretty tired now. It's time to head in, eat, drink, sleep, and then see what tomorrow throws at us. Where's the bit? Can't see shit. There's one. Okay. Cannot see a fucking thing. It's right there. There, there. Alright. So, see our lovely dog, dog food? Twenty two percent loss, that's quite a lot actually. Okay, and how many calories do we have? Only three eighty, so we're gonna have to eat all of this. I'm gonna go in, I'm going for at least eight hundred calories. I'm learning. Guys, you're teaching me. And I like my round numbers, so I'm going to go down to five. So I can drink pretty much everything. And we'll be able to drop our weight below 30 kilos when we wake up. So, what was it? 10 hours? It's just. This is an experiment for me. So we're at 60%. Let's see what we get up to. So we're actually in luck, because we're sleeping through a storm outside. 90%, we've got a good solid 30% there. I'll take it, I'm happy with that. And we got the, um, you guys were right, so I'm just before I start to take a condition hit from the, uh, the thirst, I woke up, so that's perfect. So, I can't sleep anymore. We're just going to have to pass the time. I don't have any kind of 
tools do I? Oh, I do. A sewing kit. Do I have cloth? Oh, I do. Oh, there's stuff I can read and do. All right. Cool. Let's sit down in our comfy chair. Ah, there we go. Okay. What can we fix? Ski jacket. That's the obvious one. Let's repair this guy. 45 minutes, two pieces of cloth. That's what we got. That's worth it. Please don't fail. Oh, you motherfucker. That sucks at this stage of the game. We have curtains, though. Let's rip these guys. Actually, this is the perfect spot to do this. It's the perfect spot to actually gather all of this cloth. I didn't even think about it before. I would have left this hut without any of that. So, lesson learned. Take cloth when you can in Interloper. It only takes 10 minutes per two cloth. So I'll remember that for future plays. And let's just... Oh, there we go. I think we're going to start losing condition from f being too hungry, but I'm going to take that on the chin. Starvation really doesn't damage you too quickly, so let's just get our... Uh, and this is really worth doing because this really helps us get the most out of what we have mm. let's go again, let's see if we can get it up to 100 I'm just drinking a, a coffee by the way perfect condition use key coat that's why I'm kind of pausing let's have a look at the condition so this at 66% gives plus 0.7 degrees C of warmth. A decent hoodie gives us less decent jeans. So the thermal underwear, these all give the same basic bonus. I'll repair this first because it's in the worst condition. It's 100% now too. Let's repair jeans. I think we're going to be running out of cloth soon. Ah, storm's passed. How much cloth do we have left? Six. Not bad. Okay. Uh, let's get back up. And. Okay, so we have. Ah! Good. The frostbite risk to our head has gone completely. That's excellent. So we're in better condition now. Minus a hat, but that's okay. I am going to head up. And we're going to try and harvest that carcass. And I don't mind starving. That's okay. To do that, we're just going to drop a little uh, weight. We'll drop the worst thing. Drop all the sticks. Now we're under 30 kilos. So we can get up the rope quickly and efficiently. Good. This has been a good strategy. We've still got some daylight left. I'm just going to save it quickly. And then let's crack on. Nothing about. Let's just save it. I'm just going to pause it for a second for real life stuff and then let's carry on. The long dark interloper. Right, oh, here we go again. I have had a little break. I've been out. Just the usual weekend kind of stuff. Back in we go. For you, of course. I don't know where I'm going to cut these. <laughs> there may have been no break whatsoever. Regardless. We are at minus 12, so it's not that cold. And we don't want to pick anything up because we want to stay under 30 kilos. The rabbits mean that we are basically safe. I'll get those mushrooms maybe on the way back. Right now though, I'm not too sure about the weather. So I'm really just interested in getting up and uh, harvesting this carcass. We, because we don't have any... Oh, hang on, no, 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 no. We have the hacksaw, don't we? 
I was just about to say we need to thaw the carcass, but we don't. We can use the hacksaw. Um, I will be building a fire right next to the carcass anyway though, because we want to cook up that meat. It's always better to cook it straight away and take it with you. And try uh, anything else. So, now we can afford to pick up sticks. We're going to burn them. And or carry them back down, but when you, if you're going back down a rope, it doesn't really matter how heavy you are. Okay, two hours of daylight left. That's okay. Minus 13, so it's really not that cold. And this is, um, it's just so strange playing interloper and not being just brutalized by the freezing, freezing cold. Alright, let's get this fire going. So, 10 matches left. Sticks give us the best chance of starting the fire. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. I believe we've already lasted longer than uh, in our last series. <laughs> I actually just finished um, editing part 3, which turned out to be the final part. And that's processing over there in the living room. Living room, fuck. Processing. This is using too many of my matches. Um, yeah, it's processing over there in the uh, the living room on the other PC, my old PC. And this setup means that I can continue to play while I'm actually producing the videos too. So that's cool. I'm thinking from here we're not going to go back to that cabin, we're just going to keep on going through Pleasant Valley. Um, And while I'm speaking to you now, I'm kind of thinking, where do we want to head? Uh, we're going to have to get a heavy hammer. Let's just make sure we're warm enough. Here we are. Right, let's see what you've got on you. Only one kilo of meat. But that's okay. Let's cook that up straight away. The weather's actually improved, so we are good. I've now learned, of course, to uh, take the starvation. I know just how rare food is now. Alright, so we have no choice but to take this by hacksaw. So the temperature's still good. Alright, take it by hand. Excellent, that worked out very nicely indeed. Cool. We've still got two hours left on the fire. How much water do we have? We've still got three litres. We're already in full darkness. But um, visibility is brilliant. I'm actually going to take advantage of the weather. So I'm going to try and make my way over to a proper structure. We have no kind of risk of, um, there's no point taking a brand unless I wanted to jump down the mountain. 